Hi everyone, so most of us might already have experience in buying from uh, eBay, Amazon, Wish, AliExpress but today I'm talk about uh, buying from Alibaba. So uh, usually people avoid buying uh, from this website uh, if you are not buying in bulk so because uh, this website mostly focus on, uh, on the bulk products. So in this video I will going to tell you a couple tricks how to avoid scams when buying from Alibaba. It's not always easy but you simply need to do your research and due diligence, speak to them on the phone, see how responsive they are to your emails, check their certificates, visit their company website, look up their address in Google map, there are tons of things. But uh, here in this video, uh, I will cover the couples. So guys, rather than a general review, I will share my own experience with you guys. So let's get to it. I will open my own Alibaba web page and will show you my account. So here you can see you can search the different product on this page usually when you buy in bulk you use this uh, website because uh, if you buy a sample product one or two you will find a cheaper price uh, on um, on ebay and amazon rather than uh, alibaba because they they charge for the shipping separate and you can find so many products with the free shipping on uh, some other shopping websites so here i will um, share my personal experience uh, with couple sellers here so if I go to my messages I will show you so uh, the first thing first you you need to communicate with them whenever you see a product you you try to always 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 try to bargain with them they can lower the price uh, they have the margin do not just pay whatever mention on their ad I always try to lower the price secondly I will show you like I bought so many stuff from uh, Alibaba here here this one uh, I was buying uh, just uh, recently uh, yesterday I would say I need to buy a hundred customized flash drive uh, with uh, my logo printed on the flash drive so here is the second tip do not pay directly to their bank account always use the method of transaction which go through the Alibaba to their account because Alibaba gives you the money back guarantee so if you do use a direct channel and Alibaba won't be responsible for after that they will tell you it's convenient for you if you pay in your country bank account you don't pay any transaction fees or exchange rate fees don't fall in the trap just say no I want to pay through the Alibaba channel the seller has a this much time to ship my order if uh, they don't ship uh, within this time period then i can uh, bring the alibaba as a mediator and uh, uh, we can cancel the order i i can get my money back thirdly before paying anything just click on the uh, company information you can see here this is company a of that person they are doing business for last seven years and this from china started in 2012 this is the important part how many transaction they did so far so the transaction count 288 transaction and transaction amount this much amount uh, she or he sold so far so this is also important if this is a new seller uh, you always check like uh, how many transaction he did then go for the order and uh, uh, there is an address always check this address on the Google map and see if it's a legit address or not you also can go to their website by clicking on their company name and uh, check their other products check the red flags on their website when you're doing the investigation another thing need to check is their customer reviews for doing that you need to go click on that person name go to their company reviews always in the company profile so you can click on the company profile business and performance rating and reviews 
as you can see here this person has a 4.9 rating out of 5 so it's really good there are total 137 reviews you can see red flags here uh, I can't see any one star there is only one two star and one three star and mostly the people are giving the five star really 146 you can read the reviews here just to just go through with these reviews and sure don't buy I usually don't buy a don't want to suggest but I I usually don't buy when a rating is less than 4.5 if it's less than 4.5 I don't I don't buy from that seller I go to the next seller so the final thing which is most important is whenever you are trying to buy something do not buy in bulk at once always 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 order some samples see the sample check the product quality see uh, if you like it or not and go for the bulk the more if you want to know something else about the alibaba buying from alibaba please comment down below if you would like to see the more videos about the ebay scams and amazon scam please let me know then i will make another video for that see you in next video thank you bye bye